titled the Myanmar Muslim Genocide Awareness Convention Resolution, June 9th, 2013, Los Angeles. Taking into account all of the crimes committed against Rohingya and the Muslim population of Burma, and based on the United Nations Convention on the Prevention and Punishment of the Crime of Genocide, Article 2, the crimes against humanity in, in Myanmar have risen to the level of genocide. Therefore, the Myanmar Muslim Genocide Awareness Convention has declared the following resolution on protection and prevention of genocide against Rohingya and the Muslim population in Myanmar. MMGAC, in the strongest term, condemns the violence against the Muslim population of Myanmar that has entered the stages of genocide. We demand the government of Myanmar to protect the Rohingya and the Myanmar Muslims to the fullest extent and to bring the rule of law to the land that it governs. The government of Myanmar must bring the perpetrators of the crimes targeting the Rohingya and the Muslim population of Myanmar to justice. The government of Myanmar must provide full security to NGOs, INGOs, Muslim communities, and their religious leaders, and to the National League for Democracy, to the leader Dao Aung San Suu Kyi. The government of Myanmar must give the international team of investigators complete access to all of the areas in Myanmar that are affected by the violence. The government of Myanmar must return the land and properties of the displaced people and must allow the restoration and rebuilding of their properties and places of worship immediately. The government of Myanmar must permanently lift the closure of the Muslim places of worship in Rakhine State and all around Myanmar and to allow the Rohingya people to have funeral services according to their religious customs and to practice decent burial service at cemeteries. The government of Myanmar must reinstate Rohingya as the original ethnic race of Myanmar along with their bona fide citizenship of Myanmar. The government of Myanmar must also give full equality and rights to all the Muslims of Myanmar in their citizenship as the other citizens of Myanmar have. The government of Myanmar must outlaw the 969 terror network. And they must take actions to stop their terrorist activities in Myanmar and Southeast Asia's regions. We appeal the government of the United States and of the European Union to designate 969 Group in Myanmar as a terrorist network. And to impose the sanctions on individuals associated with the 969 terror network. We appeal the United States Congress to conduct a hearing on ethnic cleansing and violence against Rohingya and the Muslim population in Myanmar. And lastly, we strongly urge the international community to fully cooperate with the legal experts in launching an investigation to the genocide committed by the officials in the government of Myanmar in association with the extremist Buddhist elements and to pave the way to proceed to the International Criminal Court. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is your resolution for today's convention. It has been my great pleasure to host this event today. Thank you all so much for your attendance. A great, great big thank you to all of our panelists who gave their time, gave their experience and information to us today. Let us take that and let it empower us. Let us move forward. There are so many things we can do. You want to know what you can do? There's just a few things. Call your senator. Call your local representative. Call your congressman. Go to your city council. Offer to speak at your children's school. There are so many different ways you can participate. And if you have any questions regarding those, please feel free to approach any of us afterwards in that regard. And stay in touch with one another. Stay close to one another and hold your families close tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for attendance. A big round of applause, please, one last time for our panelists.